Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the uh, ETS2 video. Uh, we'll be doing a mod review on the Veco Turbo 1990-38 Special. Uh, done by Denny Lee and Equalizer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it says in their comments that this was uh, a private truck, but since it's a pretty good standard they've released it uh, so without further ado we'll get into it uh, we're currently at the Averco truck dealer in Vienna in uh, Austria uh, so it comes like this there's very few accessories that we can do it's already got the majority of the accessories on it um, so if we have a look at the cabin we can't change the cabin <coughs> the chassis we can't change the chassis uh, engine it's one engine two gearboxes a zero for a neat and fuller so we'll stick with the th yeah. We'll go to the um, <coughs> automatic, the ZF uh, 16 speed uh, gearbox. Interior, uh, there's four different types of the interior. Uh, so you've got your standard, which is just your blue. Um, and then standard adjusted which is a, a different uh, steering wheel I don't know if you guys can see it but the steering wheel is a bit straight around so it's the knobs it's just not quite as finished as other mods are these days I guess <coughs> the special one is the red and then you've got the red steering wheel so we'll go special adjust just a special I think ah, standard I don't like the red colour uh, paint jobs that's your skin I'm pretty sure your template so you'll be able to build one on <coughs> on the uh, in your editor or whatever um, if you want to on the outside if that's if you know how to do that which I currently don't uh, uh, the Roscoe uh, Augusto which is a, a colour that you see it in most of the time. Uh, custom colour. That's actually not too bad of a colour. Yep, a custom colour works. Equaliser garage. So that must be the colour of his trucks. Equaliser garage metallic. So we'll see if it works. I've got the red. Yep, a grey, oh. yep, and a white, looks like it should work, yep, you can see it changing on the, the point of the, um, driver side there, pillar. There you got the Iveco skin uh, livery, a metallic one of those, <coughs> which should work. I'll we'll just make sure. Yep. Yep. And yes, so that one works as well. And then your custom metallic, if you're not happy with any of those other colours. I think uh, 
white. So that should be just on the corner. Yeah, that's going to be hard to see if not there. So I make that darker. Yep. Yeah. That's working. Yeah, and that one's working as well. <coughs> we'll st stick with the standard red, I think. Uh, sorry, sorry about my throat. It's a bit uh, more voice. My throat's a bit sore. It looks pretty good. <coughs> so, in our accessories, we don't have too many accessories because the truck's already been accessorized. Uh, I guess you could say, like, you got your wings, your horns, and stuff, uh, which is a bit of a pity that we can't adjust them. If we wanted to adjust it or change the badges and stuff like that, like you do on uh, numerous other mods, um, it's a little bit disappointing if we can't do it on this one. So we can put a bull bar on. We, oh, which then allows us to put some spotties on the front there. Put some spotties. On. Next one up here, I believe, is a badge. If you want to put the feet on, uh, badge. Doesn't look, doesn't take my appeal. Uh, driver's plate, a sun visor if you wanted one. I don't like sun visors. So I'll miss that. The background to the Albeco sign up the top there. We'll change it. Uh, an exhaust, exhaust smoke, and exhaust smoke again. So we can't adjust the exhaust system, fuel tanks, anything really. They've already modded the truck for us, um, I guess you could say. Uh, our main mirrors, we can paint them or keep them in the special. Uh, we'll paint them and then it's just your tyres if you want to change your tyres I think this truck will look good with those I might have to get some rims and stuff on it Chrome. Do the same for the back. all the mods on the outside that we are able to touch. <coughs> when we go on the inside, there's a few more 
Oh, so you got your mirrors. Uh, GPS. Driver's plate. Uh, your dots for your dashboard things if you want to. Um, any sizzle stuff, or if you've got a maybe a jazzy cat uh, running, windshield dots, uh, the sun visor on the outside, hanging items, which don't seem to be working, uh, radio in the top there, uh, some more items. But shh, it doesn't really mean. I think the dashboard ones go all the way over there anyway, so I don't know what that one's there for. Uh, your mirrors again, your side mirror. You can't do anything with your side mirror. Uh, the seat doesn't allow you to put anything in your seat though. And then that's it. If you spin around, you're able to go down into the actual uh, sleeper, but I don't think you can get out, so I had a bit of trouble with that before, so <coughs> yeah, and that's it, that's all you can really do to the uh, truck, I'll have a look from the outside. It looks like a nice truck, but I definitely would like to be able to do more mods to it, uh, more accessories. Uh, so we'll confirm that and trade in. Yes. Let's see how it looks once it's uh, loaded when it loads into the game. <sighs> Looks nice. It's no big hole. Oh. I don't know what that is in the underneath the mud guard there. If it's just the engine, gaps in the engine. But there's no big holes going through the cab or anything. Very dark. Uh, into glass there, but it is very jaggedy. That's what I've noticed about it. <coughs> uh, so I'll start her up and go for a quick drive. Wait. Oh, it's got a nice sounding engine. Sorry about that, and our lights work, and high beam. Sweet. I do like the sounds of this truck, very nice. Uh, 
Um, so I guess it's coming up to that time <coughs> where we rate the video, uh, the mod, sorry. If, the vi <laughs> if it's a video, it's probably not even high, not, not as high as the truck. Um, anyway, the mod, I'll probably give it two and a half out of five rubber trucks. Uh, only because it's jaggedy and the um uh, and that you can't accessorize a truck as you want it it's already been done for you so that's that's what i find a little bit disappointing about it so uh, thank you for watching um, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.